What's going on guys, gonna do a little technical analysis, look at SoFi, kind of give you guys some levels to keep your eye on. If you are trading this stock, holding this stock, maybe you are swing trading it, but uh, very, very uh, bullish close today uh, on the small caps all the way around. IWM did really, really well, even with a little bit of an intraday pullback. So today we were up just about 10%, uh, almost pushing that dollar mark on the day. What I do like out of SoFi is that coming off this bottom here at $7.74, we had a you know four-day rally followed by some consolidation into this rising support, and then today we took out that consolidation. Uh, we closed pretty much at the top of the candle here, ten dollars and and you know ten dollars and fourteen cents with the high of ten twenty-one. What I can see going into tomorrow is if we do start to confirm 1021, we have a straight shot into $11.12. That's gonna be our next area of resistance and a pretty, pretty significant area of resistance. If we just kind of go back here and we look at this red line, this is the 50 day moving average. We were rejected here on the 2nd of March. We had some price action here in February. We also were rejected here in January. Um, and then, you know, realistically, if we kind of look at this and we, you know, zoom it out ever since we really lost the 50 day moving average back in November, we have never reclaimed it. So just kind of take that into consideration. If we do come up into this $11 area and you were loading anywhere between the seven, eight and $9 area, take some profits off the table. And if we reclaim this, go ahead and let a runner run because over the 50 day moving average is going to be a straight shot back into 1273. Obviously, on the daily time frame, we need to reclaim a 200 day moving average. We need to get over, you know, the macro level of $16.66 before this thing can really start to fly. But if this is going to be the start of a curling bottom here where we are going to start pushing off the top, you know, definitely you're going to want to get into this trade over $10.28 and you're going to want to try to ride it on this initial reclaim of the 50 day moving average. Now, if we do come up to the 50 day moving average, get rejected, trickle around sideways for a few days and we start to fall down, what you're going to want to use as your stop is the five or the 10 day moving average. So those two moving averages are going to be the closest and nearest term sentiment for the stock. If the stock does start to close below the five and 10 day moving average, me personally, I have no interest in, uh, interest in being in a stock that's underneath the five or 10 day moving average, especially if I'm a shorter term swing trader, meaning that, you know, I'm looking to be in this play for a, for a few months, a few days, a few weeks, uh, definitely not going to be holding anything that's below the five or 10 day moving average on the daily time frame. But if you're a little bit of a longer term investment, I guess you could use a stop of like $8.74 or even you can use these lows here at around $7.74. I just don't know how long you want to stay in the trade. Uh, it just depends on what your overall risk management is. But I just kind of wanted to get on here. A very, very good day for SoFi. I think we see at least $11 before any sort of back test. Um, and then obviously, if we do start to reclaim that 50 day moving average, it does have another straight shot up for another dollar move. With that being said, if you guys want to follow me and you guys want to trade with me, definitely join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also, stay in touch with my YouTube channel as um, I do technical analysis videos on the daily. Um, and leave me a thumbs up so this video can get out to more SoFi traders and holders and swing traders. And I will see you guys all in the next video.